hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this professional flyer design into this let's check the intro Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to decography design training i believe we're all doing great today Right now, I want to show us how we can make a charge program flyer on our Android smartphone using our PC app. In this tutorial, you are going to learn the simple tricks behind flyer design. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to import the background directly from my gallery. So I'm importing this particular background. Why? I don't send, set the flyer size before started the reason is this since i have a background i want to use the background will be able to set the size i'm going to use for me and that's the reason why i select the background as not as a template or as element i select it as a background and that's why it's unmovable because it's already what is already imported as a background and i did that through this so after that, the next thing I'm going to do, after setting up this, I'm going to import other elements so that I can start with it. I'm importing the images, which is going to be around here. Then I'm going to lock it. I'm going back to my gallery, then importing the overlay shade, I mean overlay blending for me to cover the bottom of the images so that I can blend along with the background. I mean with the images then i'm going there and import the logo and other overlay just exactly like this now we are halfway gone to our objectives the next thing we are going to do is to use the right markup and the right uh, 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 and the right i mean to use the right font for our right up so that it can actually spell out what we really wanted to uh, 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 design so now while we're going we're going to the, our right up text area then we type the we type the only church the only church the only church of christ then we have something like this the only church of christ which you can see okay then let it be in capital letter i want to use a really way font there is what we call a really way font here so I'm using a really well set me board. Then I'm going here, going to the size, then have it reduce, just as exactly like this. Reduce it. Then we are going to the center alignment. We are going to align to the center. So after align to the center, we we'll bring it here. Then we use a relative position to position it to the center. When we do that, then everything is actually plumb. We can actually check and see how it look then everything will actually plumb just exactly as this okay fine after that the next thing that we're going to do after achieving this we can still increase a little bit okay then uh, uh, everything is cool like this right so the next thing that we're going to do is to have it lack then we still go back to our right up just as this go to the right up and you type the power of you understand we have the power delete the previous tells we have the power the power of this can see right then we are going to use what we call a moon house moon house m w o n house h o u s e moon house and this is it we are going to use that font just as early as perfect as this then we are going to reduce the size it should be from uh, the third uh, let it be around here which you can see then uh, we're going to make uh, this be around here but you can see them right so everything is actually cool then let's see whether when we position it this way everything will, will work you understand just uh, 
Okay, cool. We can shift it a bit. Okay, now let's go to the color. I'm going to give it two different color. The first thing is I'm interested at the one at the middle. So let me just attach a color to it. So uh, the space in between, that is the uh, the issue, the way I'm seeing it. But what I'm going to do right now is this. I'm going to condemn the two. So let's delete this. We delete these two. Then we'll position it here. Then after that, we're going to copy. We copy, then we'll have power. We're going to have power. You can see, right? Then we're going to the color. We give it this particular color. Then we increase it beyond the size. So we're going to increase. So after increasing, they are going to make it uh, be around here. What you can see. Let it be around here. And the space won't be too much, which you can see. So we can increase it a bit again. You can see we increase it. Okay. Let's see increase a bit. Okay, good. So now we're going to copy this, then we'll put it off. Okay, then we'll bring this come down here. Let's see can here. Uh, so we are going to position it here. Turn on your grid as a ruler. Then we are going to use it as a kind of a demarcation around here. So turn it on. Then let's move it. Tap here. Then we will move it. So let's move. Okay, cool. Then this is cool too. So we have achieved this with this. So the next thing we're going to do is to copy, then we'll put a capital G O D. That is God. That is power. Don't forget of God. to hit the subscribe so button and the bell icon. So we're going to increase this. We increase the very world that will be in line with this. So we're going to at this juncture, we're going to position this here. Then we increase the size a bit. Just increase the size a bit. Then we use our relative position to position to the center. Then we shift. Let's just shift. Okay, cool. Then let it go up a bit. Uh, you can see, right? Let it go up a bit. Then after that, we are sending it to the back. Okay, cool. Then we are changing the color for the two. So capital G, we take a black color. So let's make it to be black okay then capital d will make it to be black as well then everything is actually plum right so the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, change the color for this too so we're giving this color then we change the color for this as well and everything is plum so now right now the next thing we're going to do is to go to our shape then we we'll have the radius to be something like uh, let's say four it's actually okay then the opacity to be zero then your stroke to be two so we can still turn on the okay sorry we can still turn on our radius to be something exactly like this <coughs> excuse so we are going to position it around here then it soon be too much anyway then we are putting it here which you can see then we shift it in okay good let's see calm down it's just perfect like this then we're going to we're going to reduce this okay five is okay then everything is actually plumb right so after i've gotten this the next thing we're going to do let's turn on our grid and use it as a kind of a demarcation around it so we tap here then we are going to position this here so everything is actually cool, right? So the next thing we are going to do is to just uh, make alignments. Let's see align from the text at the top. So everything is aligned as you can see, right? So we can make it to exceed a little bit, just as this. Then we'll go to relative position, position to the center. No, it's not work. So we can shift. So let's shift a bit. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. 
So the next thing we're going to do, we're able to achieve this, but uh, we can still shift it. When you look at it, that uh, it's not actually right. So we can shift it a bit, a bit. Okay. When you look at it, everything is cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 So let's tap on it and uh, have it uh, shift a bit. So after position that, then we can turn on the whole thing. Then make sure you have it locked only this. Then we are going to uh, we'll go to the text area where we put uh, every Friday. Every Friday. Yeah, every Friday, 6 p.m. So we we'll have 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So let's go to the front area, then we'll choose a phone called Anek Telugu. Anek Telugu. But the Anek Telugu that we're going to choose must be in capital, must be bold. So I'm looking for Anek Telugu, the bold one. So I'm checking, checking, checking. Uh, Anek Telugu, this one is okay, then let's bold it. You see everything is cut out. what can you do? You go to the recover auto shave. Then you click the second one where you see every default to be in normal position again. So we are going to retype. We we are going to type every Friday. You can see every Friday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, so we are going to select the same font at this particular period. So we are sorry. So we are going to select the same form, just call here, then we are going to put it in capital, I mean select the previous font, go to the board and board it. So now reduce the size and have it position around there. Okay, so position it, let it be inside. So go to the color area, go to the color and you have it board, then let there be a little space in between them, in between the alphabet then you are going to centralize anyway so sorry we're going to centralize uh, let's put a justification first don't forget to hit the subscribe first. button and the bell okay, icon okay so after that we are going to the shape then we'll crop a shape and uh, have this particular uh, uh we'll crop it and uh, have something like this for instance, we have this under the 8 p.m. to the number. Okay, good. So we are going to position this around there. Okay, then we'll go to the color area of this particular color, as you can see. Then uh, the next thing we're going to do, shift this up a bit. Shift it up okay everything is cool now right eh? so what we're going to do next is the copy then when you copy we're going to position this around there okay after position it around there uh, we have something like this okay cool right eh? so we're going to bring this in this should go in So let it just be around you. Okay, then you reposition very well. Reposition very well, then you make it uh, look more presentable. And everything is actually correct. So what we're going to do next is to go to the right up where we have zoom ID. We have zoom ID. Then I think then we we'll have six eight we we'll have seven nine hundred four three two okay cool then we are going to use a telugu we are going to use an telugu 
but we're not going to use our neck okay so we we'll reduce the size and uh, have the position here so we can see right so let's increase the size since it will be able to fit in here so after increasing the size we go to the color here then we apply this particular color so give it a white since uh, uh, the background color is deep so we need a light background on top of the deep color so that it can actually spell out what we actually wanted and it can look more professional so we are going to copy then we have a password here we have a password let's shut it password then we we'll have it which is uh, 3500 we we'll have 35076 uh, we we'll have this this way right so we are going to bring it around here so bringing it here we are going to change the color of that one but it has to be very okay so we are going to reduce the size that's the first thing to maybe 26 okay so move it away from that move it away then there should be a, a, a close the space in between the west just as this okay then we we'll go to alignment and align to the center okay so go to the color then we we'll align this and change the color to something black then you can you can actually move this back to the original place just as this okay then you position it here so what we need to do again is to reduce this reduce it to something like uh, 25 then the space in between the uh, west should be minimal then uh, space it go to relative position and you position to the center sorry you align to the center going to alignment okay good then when you look at it everything is uh, automatically plumb you can see so just a little adjustment and everything set so now as you can see everything is actually set and they are all okay so what we need to do next is uh, we should just look at the alignment and you look at uh, how everything uh, uh, was arranged and uh, look at uh, the uh, uh, the principle and the hierarchy. So everything is actually set and this is just a simple way on how you can make a church flyer on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. So I believe this is uh, this work is very very helpful. And I believe we'll all learn something from here. Make sure you don't attach when you are uh, making your design to avoid losing quality. And you make sure you always save your project for future references. For instance, let me just say church flyer. So let me write here for so we'll back just as this. You understand? We we'll delete this. Uh, just church let's just put church just a kind of then we'll put save everything is safe and thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something god bless us